practice run. It's going to be the first verse, just a little bit of practice, okay? So we're just going to start with happy birthday. Go and inhale.
Cabin Island. Lucky, 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 lucky.
before he ever got here, because we never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying what a great golfer he was. He had all these good golfing friends back in Nebraska. He showed you trophies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't believe it. Your name was never on them. <laughs> Generic. <laughs> And so, finally one time, he invited some friends out, close friends of him, and said, oh, I've got a guy here, but they would love to show you in golf, he's really a great golfer. And so, I took his two friends, we got on the first team, and of course, Joe had to show up. Well, my first two balls went into the houses, and that's how my game started that day, but we did have a good time. Well, it was my broker, and he brought his two kids in high school, and his, their dad said to them, now watch Dr. Mike, and whatever he does, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other kid says, are we supposed to hit that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that story. <laughs> Next, moving on. Moving on. Uh, the third thing I have, what am I going to do here? Um, I guess I'll go to the place where Joe wanted to talk about Notre Dame. Of course, he talked about Notre Dame all the time, and I didn't care about Notre Dame. But he kept saying how good Notre Dame was. There was going to be a great Notre Dame game. It was going to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. And, and he had some tickets. So why don't I come with him? So I said, okay, Joe, I'll see what you're going to do. And so we got on the plane together. We flew out to Lincoln, Nebraska. And we went to the game. And you know what? I learned one thing. Uh, California has so many colleges and universities that we don't even know what colors they are really because there's so many different colors. Well, in Nebraska, there's one color and it's red. And that's all it is. It's the only team they have. And they have red everywhere. And we went to a, a golf course for a little uh, before golf uh, football game. And you go in there and everybody's in red. They had donuts and they're all red frosted. I've never seen so much. <laughs> But, as the game went on, and I don't think Notre Dame won that game, did they? No. No. <laughs> they beat. It's your ball. But the, <laughs> but the reason I really, we really remember this, that was 9-11. And the day we came back was, is that I was very supposed to go back on 9-11. And of course that morning I woke up in my motel and the news came and the towers were being bought, uh, run into. And Joe had a heart attack, he, that's what he said. And he couldn't possibly drive back because we couldn't fly. And so Joe said, oh, my heart hurts. We've heard that too a lot. <laughs> That's been an excuse for a long time. That and golf. But uh, so I drove all the way back, and then he flew back after that. But that was another memorable time with Joe. Yeah, because you had to pay a $700 Turn the in fee on your car. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take you to part when you wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, the last one uh, is uh, we all heard about his favorite nephew, Lee. Yeah. Where, Lee, where are you? There you are. It's Michael. It's not Lee. It's Michael. <laughs> Michael's my favorite. Michael Lee? No, it's no. Michael's my favorite nephew. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, we weren't going to say that here. Changed off of George. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, Lee was the favorite mm -hmm. nephew, and Lee what? was going to come out and visit. And would we please come over? Well, we hesitated. We didn't do it for a day or two, I'm sure. And all of a sudden, uh, Joe knew that uh, we had to come over, and there had to be a bigger reason to be Lee. So in the middle of the night, about 11 or 12 or 1 o'clock in the night, sirens, <laughs> lights, everything out in the bluff. It was just horrible. Helicopters. And helicopters. <laughs> like, we said, what is Joe doing? <laughs> And so Dee and I, in our pajamas, we did put robes on, ran out to the bluff. Joe said, here, I want you to meet my favorite nephew, it's me. And so we met and we talked. Well, that was the time that the fishing boat came in and crashed, and the helicopters had to come and had to build a knife oh, and yeah. get them and bring them up. But Joe, good party. Yeah. <laughs> I sold coffee and donuts. Susan and her, her dad, John. And we're from Sacramento. I just want to share a couple memories. My earliest memory of Joe was when I was probably about five years old. And I was playing with Mr. Potato Head when we were visiting in his house. And I was whining about something. I don't remember what that was. But his mom didn't have much patience for whiners. No. <laughs> and I'll never forget her getting after me. I'm sure Joe went to her and said, can you do something about this kid? And so she did, and I settled down. But I have to tell you, my, one of my best memories was uh, when Joe um, sang for our wedding. Uh, we got married about 25 years ago, and I think we were probably sitting around saying, 
hey, what can we do to really make this wedding special? And so my bride-to-be and family, you know, my mom probably was the one that came up with the idea and said, hey, why don't we have Joe sing at the wedding? That'll make it special. That'll empty the church. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, he sang just beautifully. And so that was a wonderful memory. Just wanted to share that with you. So thank you for it. <laughs> with mother's sister was the real <laughs> You better watch out, sister, you can get it back. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> everything straight. So uh, I call him Cadillac Joe because of his big red Cadillac. So <laughs> Cadillac Joe, what I love about church is when we sit back there, you never know what's going to come out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'll, never, I'll never forget this one because like, you can't laugh. So anyway, I'm going to apologize right now. Any of you women own a, a, a leopard dress. So, anyway, we were <laughs> sitting back there, and in walks this woman with this leopard dress, and she goes and sits down, and Joe says, wow, if Jeff was back from Africa, he'd shoot her. I think. Boy, yeah, I went, the first year after my dad died, 
some friends of ours in Kearney invited us out, the banker invited us out for Christmas. And as we were going, I was driving a Corvette then, and another and I were whizzing along, and we passed a car, it was a little Camaro. And you learn never to argue with mother, but I <laughs> forgot it. She says, my God, look at the, the caps on those two guys. And I said, well, mother, that wasn't a guy, it was a guitar case in the seat beside it. She says, a dog? Well, if it was a dog, it was wearing a cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're beginning to understand. <laughs> Are you taking the mic? I wasn't planning on it. No. I could say I can. I can say something here. You're okay. okay. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, we moved here in the fall of 2008, and we almost didn't get to meet Joe because it turns out that he had seen Jeff at church and got to know him. But when Joe came over with a bottle of wine to welcome well, us to the neighborhood, where you live. he went to the he went to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> he was walking our dog then, and so he came over, and we've become very good friends with Joe, and he introduced us to a lot of people. And uh, in our circle of friends, we're the boys because we're the youngest. And it's like, I haven't been called a boy in 25 years. <laughs> You know, uh, most of the stories and uh, the enjoyment that we have with Joe when we're up here, I can't share. Uh, <laughs> but, but the one thing that, that is, is true to form, whenever we have guests come over, and Jeff uh, and I will be hosting people, and Joe will come over for some wine or something, and he'll always invariably say, if your guests want a good look at the ocean, they can come down to my house. <laughs> And he was shaking, and he was putting too much paprika in there, so I came down, but before we went down there, I thought, well, let's stop at the store and get a new bottle of paprika, because it's not as red as it should be sometimes, and I go there, and I help Joe with the eggs, and they were delicious as always, put more sweet pickles and olives, because that's what I like on them. Uh, but then I take his paprika on the counter and I say, Joe, we're going to replace this. And I look at the bottom and it says, Best by 1982. <laughs> 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 I just have one comment. It's kind of inside that Joe and I am still waiting. I would walk the dogs early in the morning. It would still almost be pitch dark out a lot of time. Anyway, and Joe would be out walking, and this wasn't too long, I don't think, after you arrived. Anyway, and he's out there walking around, and so we run into each other in the morning and decided he had to be okay. He had his regular garb, he had a Notre Dame cap on, and so that is what did open our first discussion. Cause I, Maybe know, he's from South Bend. Yeah, I grew up back there, and so, yeah. I, anyway, so, so that did, that sort of opened our... Our uh, chat, but that's when we would see each other. First thing, and I would just throw anything on. It's pitch dark. I'm just slogging the dogs around the block, and Joe is doing his his morning constitutional and all. And then we did have a neighborhood get together, you know, sometime in the next year or so after that, and we were there, and so sort of mingling as we've been doing today and all of that. And Joe comes up and goes. You sure clean up pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> she had on a black dress with a little, and I'm used to seeing her in her bottom half of her pajamas. <laughs> but anyway, so those 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 words I I do remember. <laughs> it was meant to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Almost says the same to me on occasion. <laughs> There was a field mouse, I think it was in Wayne, Nebraska. 
Do we have a lot of corn in Wayne, Nebraska? Yeah. How about Carney? Any in Carney? Uh, a lot of it. Okay, Carney. This is Your relatives. <laughs> this is in Carney, Nebraska. And Emma, the field mouse. Emma was out in the field. Go ahead. She was a little girl field mouse, and she was just in the teenage part of her life, and she was having such a good time. She was dancing and doing such a good time, and she left everybody behind, but she didn't care. And all of a sudden, there was a big, horrible noise, and it got closer and closer and closer, and she got scared. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what she'd do. It was drop down or run. Well, she ran. That was a mistake, because whatever it was that got her, threw her around, threw her around over and over and over again, and threw her out. And she laid on the ground and went, oh! And finally, her folks, her mother came up and said, Emma, Emma, what happened? And Emma said, I just got leaped. That's why I don't tell jokes. But while I'm here, uh, Dee and I have known Joe uh, quite a while. We <laughs> I'm Don Warden. Uh, we live four doors from Joe. Um, Joe was the first person. Unfortunately. <laughs> Joe was the uh, first person we met at Bodega Bay, but we moved here anyway. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I was a county manager in Colorado, and uh, uh, I have the, an ambulance director that was there. And uh, he was wanting to set up a meeting, and I said, well, I'm going to be gone next week. And he said, where? I said, I'm going to go be looking at some property in Bodega Bay. Um, or I said, you probably haven't ever heard of this place. I said, I'm going to be looking at some property in California. And he said, where? I said, Bodega Bay. And he said, Bodega Bay. He said, I have my dad's cousin. This is Dave Bresler. His uh, Joe Nuss. He, he lives there. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, I'd be happy to introduce you over the phone. He, he, he would help be helpful. So... We were dialing up uh, Joe's number, and Dave said, before we call him, I want to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's a bit of a character. <laughs> and that, that uh, has proven to be, be true. Our, our son, which uh, uh, lives in Portland and uh, really enjoys spending time with uh, Joe when he visits, he always, uh, when he's doing his itinerary, he always says, well, when, when are we going to get together with Joe for breakfast or... Uh, dinner and we we pick a date. But uh, when we first first moved here and and uh, Zach got to know Joe better, kind of the same experience. Uh, we we said uh, we were going to have some friends from Petaluma come out and have dinner and Joe was going to join us. And uh, our friends from Petaluma are, are uh, he's a retired teacher that taught with Shirley for years and and uh, he was a dentist and they're they're kind of liberal. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Zach, uh, Zach said, well, you know, with Joe and Sandy and Nikki says, you probably need to warn them about Joe <laughs> and his politics. So, uh, so we did. But we, uh, we truly enjoyed being a, uh, a neighbor and friend of Joe and uh, gotten to know a lot of people. And uh, I, think, I think we know everybody in Wayne from stories he's uh, told over the years. And, uh, that, well, uh, we had a party here at Hansina's, and we all thought he was, uh, either if he wasn't a priest, he had to be an altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we, Hansina had everybody, we wrote a story, and everyone was supposed to add to it, and then we were going to read it. Well, they got to the part, and I couldn't believe it came out of Don. They said, that's when I was driving another Corvette, and he says, there was this gal hitchhiking along the road, and this Corvette came up, and uh, she, she, he says, you want to ride? Yeah. She says, do. She had a cat. So she got in the car, and she's sitting there with the cat on her lap, and he, she says, I'm like, where this is going. <laughs> 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 she says to him, would you like to play with my pussy? <laughs> he says, yeah, I would. Get rid of that damn cat. <laughs> Many of you probably have in your yard. Joe has a dear friend, Roger, who 
is not Iris. He's a famous non non good driver. Is that why he? Okay, he just had a wreck yesterday. Yeah, oh, and Trudy told me that. Well, Roger was a, another character. He oh, had I don't know two, two square blocks of irises in in oh, Maine, yeah. and, and he dug them all up and brought them to California, and he hybridizes, hybridizes them, and he's made these wonderful and named these wonderful plants. But then he didn't do well where he, he didn't like where he was, so he dug them all up again and moved up to Anderson, and that's pretty far for him to drive down here today. But he's given us all starts of virus. And all well, you of us know if you go by yards. Roger's house. Yeah, and because he should be in an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> he buys used chandeliers with no bulbs in them, you know. You go to the yard sales and get these candles on no bulbs in or no wiring in and he hangs them in his trees. Oh. So here's all these you drive by his house and yeah. <laughs> and then he started buying old bird cages and he'd buy ceramic chickens and put in the bird cage. <laughs> 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 That's why all our schools And if anybody lost. wants it, yeah. I'm going to be dividing soon. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to say just for a minute, too, how much I've enjoyed Joe's friendship over the years. This group more or less started out at St. Teresa's as a literary guild, but we never read a book. <laughs> <laughs> you invited Mike and I, and we said, oh my gosh, we have to... We have to set aside time to read before we go to the literary guild. Anyhow, I always, for holidays, uh, especially when my family hadn't moved back here, I had what I call the widows and orphans holiday, and everybody would come to my house who didn't have anywhere else to go. Did Joe tell you he was a widow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw him as <laughs> <laughs> So anyhow, I have, for the last uh, 13 years, I've had my daughter and granddaughter living with me, and I have Joe to thank for giving my little granddaughter a liberal education. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me one. She gave me a glass last year, just a drinking glass, and it says, I pooped today. <laughs> I feel so guilty. The boys, I drank your wine. Joe came to our house like the day after we moved in, and we did three bottles of wine. I learned all about all of our neighbors. <laughs> Rudy and I knew that we had landed in the right spot. <laughs> and so, Joe, thank you. Ten more years. Yeah. I all wrote, right. I wrote a void on their house, so <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> 